today one of the things I'm working on is that top right there, Q3, out of this fabric. I've already started some bubble shorts to go with it. pattern pieces cut and ready from Q3 and the bubble shorts are sewn and I've ironed them it's from this pattern which apparently the hand-drawn little girls are wearing underneath their tops there it is taking a break from sewing to make some sun teas it's not really tea because it's herbal. I guess it's sun tissing or whatever they call herbal teas. Ready to start sewing. So there's the pattern. Because it's woven, the edges will fray. I want to enclose them. There are a couple different methods. I'm going to use a French fold. I think that's what it's called, a French seam. I'm using a French seam today, which is when I put the pieces wrong side together to sew the seams. Then I flip them inside out or outside in. So I do my stitches close to the edge with the right sides together. Now I trim the seam by stitching a little bit closer to the seam. Take it to the ironing board. I'll fold it over like this. Then I will sew it right sides together. So this is what the seam will look like on the outside and on the inside. All of the raw edges are enclosed, so I don't have to worry about anything fraying. So I'm doing top three. That's just two. Let's get the light on. Top three. U3 top. And here are the instructions. The instructions say put the appliques on and then continue as dress view one. So we go to dress view one, which would be right here. We gather the front, attach it to the front yoke, sew up the middle seam in the back a little bit. I probably won't any sew any at all, probably leave it totally open. Gather it and attach it there. To do the gathering stitches, I'll put the thread length or the stitch length at the longest and I will loosen the tension a little bit like that. And I will make two rows of gathering stitches. The front bodice, the ruffly skirt part of the top, I guess this is called the yoke. So I will match the edges. Sometimes I use clippies for things like gathers. I use straight pins and I make sure it's on the side where the bobbin threads are. 
I have green in my bobbin since these colors don't matter right here. So I can see the green. I will go ahead and get it a little bit started. Line up the edges on this side. And then I will just tug the bobbins, threads to just gather all the way. So now it looks like it's gathered adequately. Pull this a little bit more. And then I'll just even the gathers to make sure there's not like a bunch of gathers here and no gathers in another section. So I'll even the gathers and then I can stitch them together. Before I attach the uh, bodice yoke to the bodice skirt section, I make sure that my stitch length is back to what it should be. On this machine, it should be about two for a regular stitch. And my normal tension on this machine is about five or a tad over. There they are stitched together with the gathers. Um, it does have raw edges. I did not do the French seam for this one, so I will just trim the fabric a little bit closer and do a tight zigzag stitch down here. The bobbin ran out right at the very end of the stitching. So I'll just pop this out and wind a new bobbin. This sewing machine does have a zigzag stitch, but the way it works is with a cam. So it only does the straight stitch until you put this cam in. It has two sides that design and this regular zigzag, see if you can make it focus. That's close enough. So there's the knob that's there. There are four different holes. We just make sure it lines up, clicks in place, close it, and now it'll zigzag back and forth. Do the back panels like the front panels with the gathers, the zigzags. I did the uh, French seam to enclose the raw edges. Put a little piece of interfacing here so I can put some snaps and it won't be uh, too hard on the fabric. And just use bias tape around the neckline. I will do the same with the arms. And I might use some more cam designs for the bottom edge. Hopefully I have this finished tomorrow and I bring it over to Raina. She can wear it. And that's all I'm doing today because I'm tired of filming and sewing. And you're probably tired of watching and listening. I would be.